I wanted to take this opportunity to remind you that we all have our demons and it may appear in very dark moments when we look at our addictions and our fears and anxieties and the really the deep dark things that lurk within us it's important to remember that part of being human is having these demons or these monsters in you and as long as you feel like you're somehow damaged or unique for having them you'll never be able to truly solve them because solving these problems facing these demons doesn't necessarily mean you win over them or you over overcome them forever the problem is mostly in the non-acceptance and as long as you think you're the only one there can't be any acceptance you know if you did something that nobody else did that's so bad and so reprehensible it would be very hard to forgive yourself because you can't identify yourself as a human as a part of the human population which is where much of our suffering comes from so what I would recommend for you is to start identifying what your demons are and if I'll be very blunt and honest mine mostly relate to trust issues so over the years I've built some pretty severe trust issues with people and that's my biggest demon and unless you share those demons unless you talk about them to your friends and family and people who will you know who, who will support you who you know will be there for you and and trust you and and, and again help you feel safe this is the number one thing is make you feel safe with those demons unless you have those people you're not gonna overcome it you're not gonna feel safe which is <laughs> a very very bad thing because the alternative of not confronting the demon is um, at best at best it's it's really not good to your life and it's at worst is a, it's a catastrophe so talk to the people you care about join a group of people who do suffer from the same demons because there are people who have your demons and especially online today you can find them very easily make sure that if you do join a group like that it's not a group that feeds that demon but it's a group that supports and loves each other through the demon so for example if we're going to talk about trust issues then what would be really bad for me would be joining a group that where people are like you know you know they they should basically become the demon and find a platform for it for it so they just talk about you know people are not trustworthy you shouldn't trust women you shouldn't trust uh, people in general uh, people are going to backstab you like if you join a group like that that's not really going to work the point is a group of people who are positive and the same with your friends and family and relationship talk to them about it and and uh, honestly just seek reassurance so just they don't need to be your psychologist they don't need to you know treat you differently the the only thing that you should make sure to ask for is reassurance so for example if your demon is like mine and it's related to trust what i usually do is i ask for uh sort of support on that like uh, to, to get a kind of a strengthening of of trust because my trust very easily goes away and you you have a lot of ways to help people bring the trust back or if your demon is whatever it may be you know maybe you can't handle chaos and you just enter into severe stress or something 
the same thing would apply where you instead of trying to deal with it yourself which is almost always impossible uh, besides maybe breathing a bit n- but nothing will truly like calm it down and solve it not consistently at least you need to talk to people you need to get help from friends family and support groups you know again support group is for people who also face the same problem of stress and can give you really good tips and things that worked for them and also make you not feel so damn hopeless that you have that shit. And at the same time, friends, families, and relationships will help you to reassure you. So when you do get into that stressful situation and chaos is and enveloping you and you just don't know what to do and you kind of break down, that's the point where you pick up the phone and you call that person that you really, really trust and you just say, look, I'm having a breakdown. I don't know what to do and I could really use some help right now you don't need to actually help me just just give me a hug or just tell me that everything is okay and that will help you get out of it but don't try to face it alone no matter what you do do not try to fight the demon alone it will take over your mind and it will win this is what drives people to suicide this is what Again, it's really bad, really, really bad. When the demon takes over, the worst things begin to happen. So I hope this message helps you, and I really hope it finds you at a good time, or to be more precise, a bad time, where I can help make it better. And uh, talk to you soon.